Mm, okay, uh, someone's connection is bogus, and uh, let's check the ping. Okay, everyone's got perfect connection apparently. Hmm. Alright. Sure. Whatever. Greetings. I think it's safe to say that shotguns have nothing going for them. Maybe I tried them too early as I usually utilize shotguns at the end of the Call of Duty life cycle once I've learned the maneuvers so I can once I've learned the maps even so I can sort of like maneuver around and manipulate the map to my advantage. But I honestly seems impossible to do that in advanced warfare even with all this boosting and stuff and this is exactly why you should never stop especially when you're on a seven kill streak story of my life anyway uh, as you've seen earlier shotguns fail at the one job that would they were supposed to do uh, it can pretty much be summed up with one word that describes this game and that is inconsistent and believe me, that inconsistency has got me killed more times than I can care to count. But anyway, after using it for most of the prestige, I've come to the conclusion that there's not really much point in buffing the shotguns, or to be more specific, the TAC-19 too much. Hear me out here. Shotguns have always been reinducing, almost on the same level as quitscopers, but they have a major flaw and that is their viability at range and despite real life shotguns performing nothing like in-game shotguns I get why it's like that, it's pretty much for gameplay balances and the point is that increasing the range of shotguns might be good and all but for me fixing the inconsistency is probably a lot more important I mean myself and I'm gonna guess that good shotgun players can live with current range no matter how pitiful it is I mean they know it's gonna they know it's a pretty poor range and and all that but they can and they will navigate the map until they get close enough to end your virtual life without you even knowing about it however I believe it's unfair that the hard work of navigating the maps just to get close enough to them for them to only get a hit marker at what should be a one shot kill range and to be honest that just baffles me to no end and I have to say but the threat detection on the UAV is just a godsend I mean mixed up with the support and everyone just lights up and it really surprises me how many people don't have low profile I mean just put on low profile and then you avoid all of this but I guess some people are just uh, need that lightweight crutch but anyway as I said at range engage in two or more enemies missing that first shot these are all just some of the weaknesses of using shotguns so there really should be no reason to add inconsistency to that list I mean whether it's lag hitboxes or whatever I'm fixing it it needs to be done so that people can actually use a disadvantageous weapon and actually get rewarded for it. Speaking of which, the crossbow is... Hang on, you know what, I, to this day I still, do, still don't even know how I even knew he was there, but I guess I got myself a triple kill with that, which doesn't exactly make sense, but whatever. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, the crossbow. I used that a couple of times and... <laughs> Good grief, that thing is terrible. I get that I don't want to turn Advanced Warfare into Explosion Central, but honestly, what's the point in using a crossbow, a Kimbo light machine guns, or anything like that when they're just so weak? It just means that everyone's just going to start using assault rifles and nothing else, really. No, 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 sorry. My bad. Let me actually correct that. Everyone uses the BOW 27 and nothing else really, so yeah. Honestly, every time I see someone use something like the crossbow, I actually feel a twinge of respect towards them because it's practically a free kill for me. That being said, whenever they do manage to kill me, I don't actually complain because, let's face it, they're using a crap weapon and their KD off and a match is probably terrible anyway, so well done for getting that kill on me, I mean, I've noticed it with people using shotguns and every time I die to it, once I see their KDR, I feel their pain, I feel their pain. The point is that it's just not fun to use any of these wild and wacky weapons because 
they don't even work properly. There's no point in using shotguns because they're so inconsistent in the range that they're supposed to actually be effective. There's no point in using pistols because they're awful and, and they do so little. Black Ops 2, let's face it, had the last great pistols of the Cat 40 to be 3-2R and the 5-7 and even the Executioner. While that was kind of a terrible weapon, it was it was fun to use running around, you know, blowing your load in front in people's faces. Yeah. Hmm. Sniper rifles too. There's no point in using that since it had been nerfed to oblivion thanks to the quickscopers. So even trying to use it in the good old-fashioned traditional way is kind of a little bit too hard to do. But thank you, quickscopers. Hey. There's no point in even using any of the launchers because by the time it takes for you to whip out your launcher and lock onto your any UAV or even a Paladin or a Warbird, you're already shot down or it needs two missiles or something to take down. Again, Black Ops 2 with the last Call of Duty, they actually had decent launchers. I mean, the Moors in Ghost wasn't too bad. Unfortunately, it was a support streak, so... It, you had to kind of unlock it, so it wasn't really viable or useful or anything. So then, the variety of weapons used isn't that great, and everyone just resorts to using the same old assault rifle, the same old submachine gun combination, and quite frankly, that can get boring after a while. But, there is a ray of sunshine, though, because... While I say Black Ops 2 displayed a greater range of weapons, it still took a couple of patches and months to move away from the foul fest that displayed in the first few months. I mean, if you ever played Black Ops 2, you'll know that the start, at the start of it, it was everyone just using a foul, put on the take, put it on full altar, and that thing was a beast. I think. To this day, the foul is actually still my second most used weapon in Black Ops 2, even though I, after that patch that completely nerfed it to oblivion, I actually just stopped using it. But that's how much I used it to start off, to start off with. Despite Ghost being the last game, I actually cannot really remember how that went. I think the Remington was, yeah, the Rem, oh, yep, yeah, actually, no, I do remember. The Remington was a problem at the start, and while people complained, I don't think it was really that much of a problem to people. Well, I just contradicted myself there. Basically, what I meant was the Remington still was annoying for people, but it had so many flaws. The weapon was just too slow. It was it fired slowly, the reload time was incredibly slow, the uh, iron sights were actually pretty horrible as well and there wasn't really that many that much ammunition in the clip so you had to keep reloading often which again like I said earlier was a problem because the reload animation was slow but the problem I think at the start of Ghost with the MSBS yeah I I believe it was that. I've completely forgotten how that actually worked, but the MSBS was this three shot burst fire weapon that just kept putting people down. And even after they patched it, and even after they nerfed, I say nerf, it was still pretty usable, but I, there was a sharp decline of people actually using the MSBS, which to be honest was great because to this to this day I still rock that weapon uh, if you had low profile you wouldn't have gotten shot there son anywho uh, while I pitch my tent over here ah. yep holy and momentum can this actually be oh my gosh how did I expend so many bullets just to put that guy down my aim was just so shockingly bad Anyway, early in momentum is camping like that, uh, an actual viable strategy because hey, you're actually getting team kills and you're actually contributing by adding to the momentum meter. Anyway, this is actually my favourite game mode. The patch has sort of made the my favourite weapon a little bit iffy, which is strange because in the notes they actually said it's made it stronger, but yeah, I don't know whether that's good or bad, but uh, yeah.
Anyway, that's about it for this video. Thank you for listening and take care of yourself and keep being you. They're taking our flag. Taking the flag. Enemy care package incoming. Taking the flag. Take their flag.